Hello everyone, welcome back, or welcome if it's your first time on the channel. Today I'm going to be making a troll book nook. So I started by taking this mini troll and gluing his hair so it doesn't so it doesn't get messed up. I also found a cardboard box already perfectly sized, so that's what I'm going to be using. I cut open the box so it's easier to work with for now and began sealing it with glue and a paintbrush. While that's drying, I got some egg cart pieces, which have a nice rocky texture, and since I wanted this to be a cave, it worked well. I cut and glued pieces together to make everything fit. I had two ledges for a bridge to go on, and one little pointy rock at the bottom that I'll later surround in water. After that, I temporarily taped the box so I could experiment with lighting. Unfortunately, the flashlight didn't really work, so I eventually settled on a tea light. I also started working on the bridge and let that set aside while I began adding the shading with paint. I covered it the whole thing in black and white where the light should be hitting. So I have, my, um, I have this and I'm starting to paint the walls black and then I'll paint them white on top to get the light and the shadow stuff. It's going to be a pretty dark. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have one blue light at the top, right there, so yeah, up here I have the bridge drawing that I made out of um, some kebab steaks, and I just cut them off and um, stained them with wood stain, um, so yeah, when that's done, I'll paint it white, and then over that I'll do the stirred earth texture. Um, so, yeah. Shading them. Um, so then I'm gonna start putting this on once it's all dry. And after that, right here, this is gonna be the bottom. I'm gonna put this um, goat I have left over from the Dr. Seuss Tower. Um, and I'll put that right there, and then I'm gonna do some water right there. So I'm gonna add. So, after letting the base paint dry, I began adding the texture paint called Stirred Earth that I got from my local hobby shop and I also used on my Dr. Seuss tower. It works well, though it blocked a lot of the shading because of how thick it is. It's pretty good. While that was drying, I finished up the bridge and made sure it was ready to add. When it was dry, I painted the two tunnels the bridge is connecting black, and also the bottom of where the water would be. So here's that. Then, I added this goat model I had left over from the Dr. Seuss Tower, which you should watch. Um, and finally sealed the box and glued the, in the light um, right on the top. I used a tea light. I was going to use a flashlight, but it didn't really work. So I just used a tea light, and it was really, and worked really great. So, yeah. Okay, so right here I'm adding the water. I put a piece of plastic in front so it couldn't get out. I did a few layers and let it dry. Then when I took the plastic piece off, so, um, so uh, yeah, there we are. Thanks for watching, happy Halloween, and please like and subscribe. It'd be really help, and there'll be new videos every other week. So yeah, bye.